Hey everyone, today we are going to be talking about Maine moose. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about their point systems, their fees, draw process, seasons, types of permits that they have, party applications slash subpermittees over there, uh, application deadlines and results. A uh, common theme you're going to notice is Maine is not like most western states, um, but uh, they've got their own unique set of rules and, and everything, whether it be the draw or the, uh, the way that you can transfer tags and stuff. So we're going to go through that and try to make it as clean as we can for you. First off, one of the things you're going to notice that is uh, very unique to Maine uh, is their points and fees. So when you apply in Maine, uh, you can basically buy multiple entries, almost like a, a, a lottery or a raffle, right? So one chance is going to cost you $15 in Maine. Three chances is going to cost you 25, six is going to cost you 35, and 10 is going to cost you 55 per block of 10 entries. So you can buy as many blocks of 10 entries as you want at $55 a piece. Uh, hunting license traditionally stays around that $115, and the moose permit is usually right there under $600, about 585 bucks. Another thing very unique to Maine um, is within the process. Uh, of applications you can buy multiple chances every year but you can only build your designated amount of points per year so in your zero to five year period you can only gain one point per year six to ten you gain two eleven to fifteen you gain three and in that sixteen plus years you gain ten points per year um, they will eventually take them from you if you do forget to apply it's about a two-year purge uh, currently um, that hasn't changed in a long time either. So um, if you do not apply for two years, you will lose all of those points or forfeit all of those points. The draw process in Maine, non-residents are eligible up to 8% of permits uh, over there. The number of applicants varies from year to year. Uh, you're lo usually looking at about 20,000 plus non-resident applications over there uh, for about 300 permits, uh, usually a little bit more. Um, Every year we cover this in our April magazine. So to see the current odds or the current number of applications or permits and stuff, make sure to check in with that. The main moose hunt is a lottery, kind of like I explained earlier with your number of chances. Basically between the number of points you've accumulated and the number of chances you've purchased going in, uh, it's just more names in the hat for you. Um, when you do apply, uh, you also get 10 choices. You don't have to fill out all 10. You can only fill out the, the units that you want, um, but you get 10 choices when you are actually filling out that application. Uh, they also allow you to pick if you want the September season or the October season in seasons that, uh, in units that have both of those seasons. Um, but basically, unless you have date restrictions, these hunts are pretty equivalent, whether it be the September or the October season across the board. Um, some years the September has higher, some years the October has a higher success rate. Basically when they go through the draw, they're going to fill all of those September slots uh, before they fill October spots uh, unless you indicate elsewise. So it's probably a good idea if you don't have date restrictions um, to apply for, for both of those seasons over there and not restrict yourself on potentially drawing a tag when they pull your name. They have different types of permits over there. Uh, the bull permits, uh, again, like I said, September and October are their season dates. They have a late October uh, antlerless permit, which they call the AOP. And then they have any moose per permits, which are in November. Uh, so another thing that's pretty unique to Maine uh, is their party applications. They actually do not allow uh, parties uh, for, moose, for moose applicants over there. Um, what they do allow is what they call a sub permittee. So it allows you to apply with your hunting partner, spouse, child, what, what have you. Um, but uh, you designate them on your application and, and inversely they can designate you on, your, on their application. Um, you're allowed to go hunt together. Uh, either one of you can, can, can hunt the moose, um, but you are only allowed to harvest one moose on that permit. So you guys would have to figure that one out once you got in the field. Uh, another thing that they offer over there 
Uh, so if you were to draw, say, a zone that you're, you know, less desirable or one that you did not necessarily want as first choice, but you found someone uh, who had that zone that you wanted, maybe, uh, you know, you're a main resident and, and you want to hunt an area closer to your home, um, within their system, you are allowed to swap that moose permit with someone else who has a valid moose permit. That swap must be done by mid-July. So the application and deadlines, um, the application deadline's usually uh, mid-May uh, to get, get all your applications in. Jar results will be available mid-June. Um, the auction permit uh, you have to have in mid-February if you were wanting to submit a bid on that. Um, and if you wanted to, uh, again, view, view all the up-to-date information on that, specific dates on the application uh, deadline and, and, and uh, draw results posting dates, um, make sure you check out our April magazine. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you do have any uh, further questions, feel free to call us here at the office. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and again, thanks for watching and, and feel free to give us a shout.